This is a demonstration of the all angles statement graph. It's our first social experiment in a way that we hope will allow people to communicate more exactingly on the internet and uh, understand each other better. So the all angles statement graph is a way of um, taking comments and also expressing why you believe what you do uh, or why you do what you do. So here's a, just an example and I ask you to focus on the um, tool more than the actual topic. This topic will just be an example and may not be accurate, um, although we could discuss the topic in more detail later. Uh, for our example, we're going to use the statement, we should use compact fluorescent light bulbs, CFLs, in our home. Uh, and before we go into the topic itself, I'd like to explain a little bit more about what we're seeing. So a statement graph uh, is a way of visually seeing our confidence in statements and why we're confident in the way that we are. The confidence ranges from 100% uh, confidence, meaning we're confident that the statement is accurate, is, is correct. Um, it can, and this is uh, symbolized by being over on the right hand side and is green. Uh, and then we have, uh, in the middle we would have uncertain if the statement is correct or a confidence of zero. And then the far other range would be that we're confident that the statement is actually incorrect. That would be a confidence of minus 100. Now you can see from uh, our statement here uh, that it is green and it's a little bit to the right. There's more space on the left hand side than the right. Let's say we want to explore why that is. We can click this open close button which shows that the confidence, the actual numeric value of this one is measured at a 19. And we can see three statements below, one saying that CFLs are better for the environment, one saying that CFLs cost more than the original light bulbs, and one saying that CFLs contain mercury. The positions of these statements speak to the relationship that they have with the parent. The more to the right they are, the more that they change the parent statement's confidence to be higher. The more they are to the left, the more they are affecting the parent's confidence to be um, uh, in a negative confidence, showing that we're more confident that the statement is incorrect. And of course, if they drag it to zero, then we can show that there's so many things going on that we're really not confident about the statement accuracy. So let's take a look at the statements. The first statement, CFLs are better for the environment. It's a green statement that's slightly to the right, so that is making its parent become uh, more correct. So let's kind of open that up and look at that. Um, we're saying here that we are 50 percent, uh, well, uh, at a measurement of 50 between 0 and 100, that it, confident that it is correct. We believe it's better for the environment. We don't have any facts listed below here, or other statements supporting that. This is just kind of a belief we have. Um, the influence is set at 100. That generally means that uh, as this statement um, is proven more and more confident, it will affect its parent on a one-to-one -one relationship. And if it's proven false, then it will drag its parent to be negative also. And you can see that even though I'm at 100% here, this parent is not 100 because there's two other statements below that are also affecting the parent. And this statement also doesn't move all the way to the right or the left because its position, position is based upon how much it is affecting the parent. The fact that they move um, exactly, they're not exactly aligned, the parent's a little bit more to the right um, is more of a coincidence. So let's just put this back at 50 where it was. Uh, let's say that we didn't really need to explore this statement because we don't uh, we don't necessarily disagree with it. We believe that they're better for the environment. So we actually don't have to explore that statement at all. We can move to a statement that we disagree with. Uh, for example, we see the statement here that says CFLs cost more than original light bulbs. Now what's interesting about that is that that's generally a negative statement, but you can see that it's actually slightly to the right also, and it is slightly green, saying that this uh, statement in effect is uh, making our parent statement more accurate. Now how could that be if that's a negative statement? Let's take a look at it and explore a little further. We can see that uh, its confidence is uh, negative 33, which normally would drag it to be negative, but you can see its influence is minus 100. So what we're saying here is that we are confident to some extent that this statement is incorrect, but it has a negative influence on its parent. 
uh, meaning that it's a negative statement. So if you have a statement that's uh, a negative statement, but you prove that that negative statement is inaccurate, then it will affect the parent in a positive way. So if we are proving that compact fluorescent light bulbs do not cost more than original light bulbs. We originally wrote this negative because that's what we believed at the time, but since we have found facts that disprove that fact, this statement now has a positive influence on its parent. So let's go in a little bit more detail and find out how uh, this statement, being a negative statement but being proven wrong, has a positive impact on its parent. So let's take a look at its children. We can see that the compact fluorescent light bulbs uh, use one quarter of the electricity. If we look at the statement, we see once again that's a minus 100 influence, so it's a negative influence um, on its parent. And we're confident 100% uh, that this is true. We've seen it measured. We can explain more thoroughly in the notes and link to studies and reports that have done that. Uh, so let's look at, it, at the next statement. The confident fluorescent light bulbs cost four times more to buy. Well, the statement is 100 true. I went to the... To the um, store and saw that literally they cost four times as much and the influence since this statement is in agreement with its parents the influence is a hundred percent positive. Then finally the third statement down here is that compact fluorescent light bulbs should last four times as long reducing the number of bulbs you buy. We can see that that statement uh, is a hundred percent or hundred percent true um, although that could be uh, argued and the influence is at minus 100 because it, it completely disagrees with its parent. So as this is proven correct, um, it drags the parent to the left. So even though it's 100% correct because its influence is minus 100 on its parent, it is to the left saying that I am making my parent less true. Of course, its parent is a negative parent to it. So as it's less true, it becomes more true. When you're glancing down at this, um, you can quickly see what statements are having what effect on the parent. But theoretically, you could add statements that would then um, affect the parents up the chain the same way that these have before. So that's a brief overview of our first social experiment called the All Angles Statement Graph. We uh, look forward to your comments and feedback. And we thank you for helping us encourage the world to be a place where common debate results in accurate action.